Hi everybody, it's Aplin Spiritual with another reading. This is going to be for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and Venus, North Node, whatever you have. And this is going to be for January 2024, okay? Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. I appreciate you, and let's see what's going on for you. You have a very busy time in January, very busy. <laughs> I'm hearing cleaning toilets. I don't know what that means, but that's what I just heard. So maybe you're a cleaning person. I don't know. I'm also hearing you could work at like a hotel or something. Yeah, and I'm also hearing garbage man. So you could be like a garbage man, drive a, a garbage truck or something. Like very early morning, early bird job. Like something where you, you have a schedule. It's very serious. I feel like it's it's going to slow down a little bit or something. Maybe you were getting a lot of overtime, but now it's um, starting to slow down for you. So I'm seeing a grasshopper here on the top, which is telling me you want to take a leap of faith on something. You want to take a risk. You know, you want to go into something new here. And look at all this stuff. Like, look at the plate, too. That's like a full completion here. Something about the full moon in January is going to be very significant. Yeah, and I'm hearing busted. Locked and loaded. I have no idea what's going on, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm also seeing a turtle here. So earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be leading you to success here. I'm seeing letter J, letter T, and letter I here. This could be someone that wants to take a leap of faith on you as well. And I'm seeing a lot of traveling here. A lot of traveling and you have this big epiphany here that's happening for you. I also see a bat here. So there could be enemies working against you this month. People are jealous of you. You could work around a lot of people. And I feel that one particular person like always gives you a hard time. And I feel like they, yeah, I'm even hearing like telling the boss on you type of shit. So this person could be telling on you, telling the boss about you. I don't know about like petty stuff. So I would just be careful of this person. I'm also seeing letter C here. But yeah, you have a lot of deep communication with spirit this month as well. Whether you believe that or not, you're also dealing with like a Sagittarius here I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. And another Scorpio here. Let her see. Okay. So here's your cup. I'm hearing roundabout. I'm also seeing someone like kickboxing and stuff like that. So you could be doing that. Maybe you're a kickboxer now. Or you want to do that to get in shape. I'm seeing that for you. I'm seeing someone has their eye on you right here. And there's a lot of communication right in the beginning of the month. Yeah, I'm seeing the chariot here, like a chariot energy. Something's moving very quickly towards you. Very, very quickly. But there's no horses. There's no sphinxes in front of you. So this is just straight up intuition. You're just, you know, blindly going into something. But you feel it in your heart that it's the right thing. I'm telling you, it's connected to that grasshopper. Like very pure gut feeling you're taking towards something and you know it's the right thing you feel it you're going very quickly towards this letter v cancer energy is here and there's also an owl on your shoulder like above you that's that's um i'm hearing defending you but protecting you as well while you go through like this very deep move that you're doing it's a very deep move here a lot of you has to do with money here, but it also could do with like the pureness of your heart, like something that's driving your heart, your passion here. Uh, wow, I'm seeing here of the dog as well. And I'm also seeing letter S. Number 13. Okay, so in the beginning of the month, I'm seeing a dagger here. So somebody's going to stab you in the back. I am seeing year of the monkey here, year of the goat, and year of the tiger. I'm also seeing cancer energy here, number 13 again. 31 is here as well, letter V. 
whoever this letter V is, that's that's uh, pretty deep here. Letter L, letter R, letter C, and letter I is connected to this. Someone's going to stab you in the back. I see you communicating a lot, like, through the whole month, but especially in the beginning and the end. Like, big lines of communication for you. You're going to be talking to a lot of people. Maybe you deal with a lot of people on a daily basis. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing a wishbone here. Wow. So one of your wishes is coming true. It's not broken yet. You know what I mean? You know how you have to break it with somebody else? It's, it's a full wishbone. So it's like maybe you didn't make the wish yet and you're going to make a wish towards the beginning of January. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it looks really good. What is this? How's the wish look for Scorpio here? Well, you're going to get communication on this. It could be coming from an air sign person or an earth sign person, like I was telling you. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This could be part of your wish here. And I'm seeing a V connected to this. Letter H. Year of the Tiger. Year of the Dragon. And I'm also seeing a Prey Mantis here. So something that's like you're 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 taking very cautiously. Um you're not rushing, you know what I mean? Even though you were rushing here at the bottom with the chariot here, but this is like being very cautious, like it's like a warning, like you know, watch type of thing. This is in the beginning, middle of the month. I'm seeing a fish here, so Pisces energy, but this is also about money. And I'm also seeing a person here working very hard. There's like a stick figure. <laughs> you could see it, right? Um, it's like weighing the pros and cons of a situation going forward here. Year of the horse, year of the dragon, Sagittarius, Scorpio, which is you, but you could be dealing with another Scorpio, but this is weighing the pros and cons of something here about money. It could have to do with your family. I'm seeing a number seven here. So year of the horse, cancer, letter I, letter A. And I'm seeing a fairy right here as well. That's protecting you and keeping you safe. That's really, really good. I really love that. So you are going to have help in making this decision here. And I feel like it's about you moving on. And there's also a skull here. You could see it like very clearly. That's your energy. That's Scorpio. But there could be a death here in the middle of the month. A death here. Okay. Year of the dog is here as well. But there's definitely, definitely a death. There's an ending. If it's not a literal death, it could be a death to a cycle. An ending of something like very severe. I'm also seeing number eight here, year of the goat, Leo energy here. I'm also seeing you could be dealing with someone year of the snake. This also looks like an alien face to me. So it could be someone that's foreign to you, that's not known to you. So this could be someone dying around you, but like maybe they're not that close to you. Maybe they work with you or they did work with you or they're like one of your cousins or something like that for some of you. I'm also seeing something slow moving with the caterpillar here. Something that's not yet ready. It's slow moving. And you have year of the horse here. You have something very significant happening towards the end of the month. It's um something where you're climbing uphill. It's Capricorn energy here. It's something that you're not giving up on. You're very serious about this. It's it's uphill. You know, so tread lightly here. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Like watch your steps here, number three. So within the next three weeks or the la the three weeks into January is when you're going to be going up this hill. It could be very hard, you know, or literally you're going to be going up a hill hiking or something and just be careful wear the right shoes. But at the top of this mountain is this abundance here. So it's going to be worth the, your while. I'm hearing it's going to be worth your while. So I'm seeing someone that's a man here, someone that is confused angry could be who is this man hmm. it has to do with work money oh this is like divinely guided here this could be someone that you're going to be in partnership with yeah this is someone that you're going to have a partnership with this could be in business 
It's like a man with like short hair kind of. He could have like a round nose, like a big nose. And he has a lot of things to tell you. And I see you right here sitting. So this person's like kind of um, the team leader here. Like he knows a little bit more than you. So he's probably teaching you. And you're just a little bit younger in this. You know what I mean? A little bit uh, not as advanced as this person is. They know more about business than you do. So you're going to be taking advice and, and working with this person in like a partnership. Yeah, I'm seeing you're of the dragon here. Year of the snake, year of the rat, Gemini energy here, Pisces, I'm hearing. Yeah, and I'm seeing like cheers, like uh, someone raising their glass to you, like a, a, a drink to you saying, you know, congrats, cheers, you know, kudos to you type of thing. I'm seeing year of the pig is right here, letter S, number seven, year of the horse, cancer energy here. So I'm seeing someone like actually like cheering for you, like you know, congratulations type of thing, because maybe you completed something. It's good news here towards the end of the month. Letter Q, letter T. And you're also having faith and trust in something, because I, I feel because you're getting rewarded, you're feeling that abundance and glow in your life. I'm seeing like this, this glow around you. Letter Z and letter T. But yeah, just constant. Two people you're going to be talking to like very significantly, significantly, Towards the end of the month. Two lines of communication here. Very, very serious here. Eighty nine could be significant. Hmm. I am seeing ninety one here. Thirty one. One three seven. Here's the plate. Let me see. Wow, very messy here. Mm. Yeah, this is like very, look at this, like very, very deep tears. Letter M is here. Something's like rushing into your life. It's very quickly. And it's, it's not good news here. It's not. Letter P. One thing is going to make you very, very sad here. Number six is right here. Oh, and it could be a loss of money here. Something's going to make you tear up like very sad energy here. Number six, all you see right here. Uh, Gemini. And that's also year of the snake. I feel like someone could be stealing money from you. What is what's going to make them sad here? What is this? Something about your father, your grandfather, a masculine energy here, a man. And then you have an earth sign female here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here. Yeah, this man's coming out again. It's someone that you're you're in a relationship with, you know, um, someone very important to you. It could be your boss. Very serious energy here. Number three is right here. Letter C, 11 is here. Mm. Year of the dog. Mm. Year of the rooster is here. There's a swan here. So it's like you're connecting to someone in love. Could be your twin flame. Maybe that's who you're having issues with. There's some kind of issue here. And there's a question here. Like you don't have the answer to this. You're like, I want to know. There's something about a tooth here as well. Teeth, to me, represent like receiving some kind of money. Because you know how you put your tooth underneath the pillow for a tooth fairy? You know what I'm saying? Like, So it's like something where you're receiving some kind of money. Some kind of reward. You're being shown the way here with this candle. And it's lit. So it's, you know, telling me that you're, it's, it's right now. Like it's present. Yeah, and spirit saying you need to live in the present moment here. There's something about going to the doctor here and you're like your veins in your legs. Yeah, I'm hearing clogged artery here. So something with that could be significant. Because mm, I'm also hearing heart attack too. 
So it could be like so you're going to hear somebody had a heart attack or something. Hmm. Hmm. I'm here in Pisces, year of the goat, year of the dragon, Gemini, Aries here. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I'm sorry I, I did that. Like, my throat's dry. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Anyways, yeah, you have two people here that are, like, falling in love. You're the cat. So it's like, I don't know. You could be meeting somebody, like, right now, right at the end of this month. And I see two people dancing here. It could be at a party, at a dance. 33 is here. And 23 is right here. Letter L. <laughs> yeah, Pisces is here, the fish. I'm trying to see you're the rooster is here. I'm seeing someone working really hard too. Someone's like painting here. You could be an artist, painting something, creating something. And I see it making a lot of money for you. And I'm also seeing a, a tree growing right here and like a planter. So it's you're definitely growing something. It's very, it's like really, really good. <laughs> Honestly, like this is really great. There's some negative shit, but like I see a lot of good things. There's also someone like ghosting you here. Someone from the past wants to return back to you. And I'm also seeing you receiving a key here. A key to like the next step here in your life. You're moving on. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And uh, I wish you the best this month. Many blessings to you. Namaste. Love and light.